Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Sportsman's Warehouse, Counts Marine, the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency, and Avery Superstore. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. And uh, for those of you that really don't recognize who this voice is, Ron Long <laughs> filling in for Larry Ray. Of course, he kicked off the show for us. Uh, you know, he can't miss a show. He hasn't done it in 18 years. And, um, you know, our prayers, all of us, uh, go out to Larry. He's not feeling very well, and that's why he's not going to be on for the rest of the show. Uh, get well soon, Larry. We need you back. Uh, uh, you are the heartbeat, the brains, and everything else of the show here. But, hey, you know, Bill, Samantha, and I, myself and uh, are at ICAST. And, Bill, you know, you've walked around ICAST now for two and a half days. And, uh, you know, crappie, crappie fishing is getting kind of big now, isn't it? Oh, man, there, you know, there's crappie stuff everywhere. It's it, and it's neat stuff. You know, I love eating crappie fish like everybody in the Mid-South. So mm-hmm. it does my heart good to see more jig poles and more jigs and more of this and more of that. And, uh, you know, crappie is right there next to the blue marlin. I mean, it's, <laughs> and the right. pictures are just as good. It's cool. Yeah. It's really cool. You, you are right on target, Bill. And, you know, you talk about jig fishing, the premier crappie rods in the world, in my opinion, is B&M, and we are so fortunate to have on now president of B&M uh, Poles, Jack Wells. Good morning, Jack. How are you? Good morning, Ron. I'm glad to be here. I um, would also like to wish my best to Larry as well. You know, yeah, yeah it's unfortunate, but, uh, you know, Jack, uh, ICAST is just over. And you guys had an amazing, uh, you guys had a booth, first of all, with a lot of great fishing rods, uh, both for catfish and for crappie fishing. And uh, it appeared by the crowds I saw at your booth, uh, you guys had a good show. Tell us a little bit about uh, what happened there to, in the B&M booth. Well, predominantly, uh, you know, this is an opportunity for us to show our 2020 new items, Um and uh, we, we've we've had a uh, we've got some really good items this year that I think have caught a lot of attention. Um, you know, the, the two of the main items are, are really partnerships that that we have developed over the year. One with Mossy Oak and and one with Leland Lures, which produces you know the crappie magnet bait. So um, then of course we've got a, a new catfish rod on on top of that and. You know, uh, you know we're real proud of of our new items for 2020, and and we think we're gonna, you know, help give fishermen you know an unfair advantage, which is what we try to do. You know, you guys also have a new rod I saw and played with that I really like, and I think it's the TBC. The TBC wait a minute, yes sir. Trout, yes sir. Rim and did I say that right, Jack? What is it? You did. Um, the TCB stands for uh, Trout Crappie Bluegill. This is a fantastic rod that can cast, you know, line as light as two pounds. It can cast really small jigs, does a great job, um, has a fast tip to it. But uh, it, it, it's one of those rods that, you know, <laughs> frankly, we felt was so good. You know, it, it was good for three species, Trout, Crappie, and Bluegill. So that. That kind of gives you an idea where the TCB name came from. Yeah, I, you know, and playing with it, and it's, wow, the sensitivity on that rod. You guys even included a little bit of cork in the grip there, too, to kind of help with the sensitivity of the rod, too, didn't you? That, that's correct. Um, you know, the the uh, the cork right there on, on the handle, in addition to being very aesthetically pleasing, um, also gives you just a little bit more touch and a little bit more feel to feel those light bites, so... Um, it is a it's a very unique rod and uh, one that we're you know quite frankly you know we're proud to partner with uh, you know with Jeff Smith over at Leland Lures with. Not only do you guys have crappie rods and some wonderful crappie rods uh, to fish however way you want a crappie fish, but you guys have gotten very big into the catfish rod uh, industry also, and you guys have the silver cat. Um, um, line of catfish rods and several others. 
But you're, you've introduced uh, a couple of new catfish rods there, too. Talk to us about those. Okay. Well, um, last year we introduced a, 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 the series called the Silver Catalyte. This is an e-glass rod, and it, it's a non-parabolic action. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, generally the rod, you know, is not going to bend in a perfect U. Um, this particular rod has a lot of backbone, but then it has a loose tip. And it's great for a lot of techniques, you know, dead sticking and things like that. And then, of course, this year we actually introduced a spinning version of the same rod. Um, again, you know, the cosmetics on this rod look really good, but the unique action of this has really matched up well with, with you know, two or three of the, of the you know, more used uh, catfishing techniques out there and has, has been quite popular. That, that's <laughs> wonderful. And, you know, the catfish... Uh... You know, there's tech catfish tournament trails going on, and catfishing has really, really grown as a sport, isn't it? It's growing leaps and bounds each year. Um, you know, catfishermen, you know, everything they do is bigger. I mean, they're targeting bigger fish. Their their boats are bigger. Um, obviously, their their equipment is going to be heavier and bigger. And, you know, what we've kind of seen here is that, you know, a lot of these guys on the tournament trail, they're basically – they're trophy hunters on freshwater rather than saltwater, so um, it's it's a it's a great market and you know one that that we tapped into probably five or six years ago and and as our as you know as we learn you know more about it we're trying to develop products either for the for the technique or the water or that sort of thing. Yeah, that's Jack, this, really. this is Bill Cooksey, and I I yeah, have, have to ask. Um, it's been many years ago. First time I ever held a B and M jig pole was in Jackie Van Cleve's boat. And oh yeah. <laughs> I remember the first crappie that bit, I thought, Man, I felt him think before he bit. And that's yes, been sir. many years ago. And yet they're better today. I mean they're lighter, they're more sensitive. How how do y'all keep making them better? Well <laughs> you know, you know, we introduced the first Bucks Graphite jig pole around 1979. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that we've always believed in is that at the end of the day, regardless of the action of the rod or or the, the parabolic, you know, bend of the rod, at the end of the day, a sensitive tip is going to catch more fish. Uh, crappie are, you know, they're upward feeding fish. So that strike is a little bit different than what you would see with a bluegill or a bass or anything like that. And... You know, honestly, we've got just a slightly secret recipe that uh, that we put into these rods, and and that's how we've kind of maintained that sensitivity. That and our and our focus on it. I mean, again, we believe at the end of the day, the more sensitive the rod, the more bites you'll see, and the more fish you'll catch. And this year, um, you know, we we we've introduced you know our our, our, our other new item here is it's also unique. Um, not a word that I feel like I'm overusing, but uh, but I think this year it really applies to the, you know, all three, you know, new rods that we've come out with, but uh, this is the brush cutter series. Now, we've had the brush cutter series for a number of years, and it's one of our stiffer and tougher rods for, you know, difficult fishing conditions and heavy brush. You know, they get hung up in there. They try to wrap around. This rod will pull them out. This rod is different now. We've made some changes to it. The most obvious change that you would, you would notice if you looked at this rod is that it has a mossy oak black tip finish to it. Uh, you know, I, as you know, Mossy Oak is also a West Point, Mississippi-based company. And as they've come out with these spring patterns, they, they came to us and asked us if we would be willing to, you know, to pick one of them and, uh, and, and, and wrap our poles with it. And we could not be more pleased with how this rod turned out. Um, beautiful finish to the rod. Some other changes that we made, too, we, we kind of we made the guides a little bit smaller so they stay tighter to the pole. But we also stiffened the rod up about 20 to 25 percent just to give you a little bit of extra muscle, I think, when you're trying to haul that crappie out of the heavy brush. So uh, very pleased with how this product turned out, and it is probably one of the prettiest rods we've ever produced. Jack, one of the things I kind of noticed is a, a trend in the fishing industry of top brand companies partnering with other companies. Like, for instance, you know, in your new brush cutter rod that you're coming out with, you've teamed up with uh, Mossy Oak. Uh, do you see a lot of that happening, and why is that? I do see more of it happening. I, I think what, it, what, you, what, you, what causes that a lot of times is that, 
you know, a lot of these are smaller, independently owned companies. Um, you know, they're not owned by, you know, a conglomerate of any kind, and it's more of, of trying to trying to gain synergies by using the strength of their product or their brand combined with the strength of, of your product or your brand. And, you know, one thing I can tell you about, you know, in particular with crappie fishing, mm-hmm. um, regardless of the brand or or anything like that, we, we all kind of feel like we're a big family. And, you know, our, our, our mutual goal um, is not necessarily sales, and obviously we all have those goals individually, but our mutual goal here is to advance the sport of crappie fishing. I mean, there's nothing better for families. Um, makes a great meal, of course. And so as we, as the sport continues to grow, um, we're trying to, you know, basically use each other's strengths to try to push the sport forward. And I think that's why you're seeing some of these partnerships. Uh, and now, Ron, I'll, 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 t- I'll answer one thing about the their co-branding with Mossy Oak. You know, mm-hmm. as a guy who likes crappie and turkeys, a mm-hmm. perfect day in the world is to get up in the morning, shoot a turkey, and then go catch a bunch of crappie. So <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> it, it made all the sense in the world to me. <laughs> yeah, it, it really does. Hey, Jack, uh, on behalf of Larry, Bill, and myself, uh want to thank you for your time, your support to uh, Outdoors with Larry Ray. We look forward to uh, seeing all of these new products on the market and and working with you guys in the future here. And want to wish you the best uh, in the upcoming uh, fall crappie season. Well, I would like to say thank you all for having me. Um, you know, uh, thanks to all the listenership out there for taking the time this morning to, you know, to listen to the show. And, you know, again, I, I want to wish Larry the best and I uh, hope he feels better. But, but thank you all very much for having me. Thank you, Jack. And hey, everybody out there in the Memphis, Brownsville, and Jackson area, stay tuned. We're going to be right back with Outdoors with Larry Wright.